It's a hot topic, and not only is it politically very charged and uh, is a cause for much controversy and ill feeling from both sides of the fence, but it's also an important issue. It's a growing industry, and we need to understand the effects of these diets in dogs and cats. So we uh, fed two groups of dogs uh, two different diets. One was a standard commercial premium kibble diet, um, which is quite rich in carbohydrate, and the other diet was a raw meat diet, so very little negligible carbohydrate, certainly no dietary fiber in that. We fed those two diets for nine weeks, and then we uh, measured the bacteria that were present in the feces of those dogs. Um, we were principally interested in the diversity of the bacteria that's found in the intestine. Um, the intestinal bacteria is a vast ecosystem of uh, hundreds of different bacteria, and we wanted to know whether uh, feeding a raw meat diet decreased the diversity of that ecosystem. Because there's been a, a growing awareness, hasn't there, that, that you know, the microbiome of all of us uh, and our pets is in fact a critical part of, of our nutrition. For long, it's been neglected and um, uh, it hasn't been considered for anything more than the gastrointestinal tract. And that, to be fair, was our focus here, its role in intestinal health. But it is quite surprising that every time somebody looks for an association between the microflora and a disease state, they find an association in as diverse a range of diseases from um, obesity, um, uh, mental depression, autism, cancer. It's quite surprising how many diseases uh, the microflora affects. So what was the effect that you found? What we found was the principal, the principal finding of our study was that the raw meat diet significantly decreased the diversity of the bacteria that were present in the intestine. That difference was present at three weeks and continued throughout the nine weeks of the study. So at the end of the period, we saw about a quarter um, uh, reduction, so a 25% reduction in the diversity, the richness of the bacterial species that were present in the intestinal tracts of those dogs. And would you that would have a knock-on effect on the dog's health? It is speculative. The dogs remained healthy, but from what we understand, yes, that is our supposition, um, that a diverse microflora is a healthy microflora, and depressing the diversity of the microflora uh, might increase the chance of intestinal disturbances as the result of changes in diet, stress, uh, antibiotic therapy, all sorts of things that can produce transient fluctuations in the microflora. If the microflora is low in diversity, it's more likely to be affected by that and then manifest with diarrhea or more serious effects, which could lead to chronic intestinal inflammation and diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease. Now, some people might find this rather strange. After all, dogs are, are carnivores. They've evolved to eat meat. Isn't it common sense that they should be fed a primarily a meat diet? And that's a very compelling um, statement. The idea that why would we suppose that a, a rather bizarre commercial kibble that's high in carbohydrate could be more healthy for the essentially carnivorous uh, dog than the raw meat that it has evolved from? And the answer to that is that, well, that may well be uh, an apparent disparity between those diets, but the raw meat alone is not what a dog evolved eating. They they evolved eating whole prey. They eat the skin, they eat hair, feathers, bony material, the intestinal tract. And so they're not just eating prime beef steak, but they're eating a lot of indigestible material as well. And that diversity of indigestible and highly digestible material is what maintains a rich, diverse microflora in the intestinal tract. So I think it's more a reflection of the fact that raw meat diets where that is the only component and there isn't any indigestible material is just not a fitting emulation of what the ancestral diet is. So what sort of a mix do you think dogs ought to be getting? That is quite speculative, uh, but if I am asked, which you are asking me to speculate, I would say that I think it, there's reason to believe that in incorporating some vegetable material in a raw meat diet, if that is what you want to feed, is probably going to be healthy. But it does remain to be seen how much, what type um, is needed in order to maximize intestinal health. <laughs>